Okay, it's done. Okay. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everybody. And thank you for coming. We have um, the extreme pleasure today to welcome the Begali family to talk to our club. Um, Begali is a name that everybody knows in the um, CW field and many of us here um, in our own club own various Begali keys and they're really adored. So it's um, with extreme pleasure that I introduce uh, the Begalis now to take over. So uh, Bruna, would you like to, um, to begin your presentation, please? Everybody, please mute. Thank you. Good morning, Howard. Thank you for a good morning to you and everyone. Thank you for this opportunity to talk about our, our work. Well, everybody says, Pietro, that your English is not uh, the best, but it's 100%. So <laughs> you can please talk as much as you like. Uh, it's our pleasure to have you both here. I wish to present you, my daughter, Bruna, to speak for me because my English language is very poor and uh, answer at your question. Okay, very good. Bruna, please um, go ahead. Okay, nice to meet you. I'm Bruna, Piero's daughter. And uh, I hope uh, uh, this interview and this meeting uh, will uh, uh, explain uh, things you may would like to, to know, more than you know, of course. So I am just sharing uh, my uh, desktop uh, so I can um, just show you the presentation I did for you. I hope you like it. So, our company born in 1954 and my father just started his business as a mechanical work and he of course born in 1938 and he followed his studies with his father Guido who was of course uh, very well known uh, in uh, the gun factory and uh, as a mechanical uh, person uh, who, of course, uh, was able to design and produce uh, the gun. And uh, he, my father was very passionate, uh, just learning everything by his father. So uh, he just start thinking about uh, a factory uh, to uh, to own, of course. So he started uh, studying not, not only mechanic, but uh, since uh, he was uh, very passionate by radio and ham radio, he started with, with a few friends uh, uh, just learning and dedicated, uh, dedicating uh, about radio experiments uh, and more about this. Of course, uh, uh, he started his production uh, not for telegraph keys as the beginning, but uh, as, uh, um, how can I say, part for knitting machine. So he was uh, started designing knitting machine as small, very precise uh, part. And uh, we work for uh, a lot of company in Germany, in Japan, uh, and also in US uh, on the last uh, years. Last years was about uh, uh, 2000. So this is the main production we usually uh, work it for. So the very small parts uh, and mechanical, magnetic and piezoelectric actuators. And the electromechanical actuator. Okay. So uh, he start uh, uh, designing keys uh, just because uh, the knitting machine uh, um, production was uh, completely given to the Chinese and Turkish. So of course for the Italian market, German market, US market, there was just a small part of this. So 
he said, uh, why not? Uh, I'm a ham radio operator, I'm a, a CW operator, and uh, why not trying, of course, uh, uh, just uh, producing some keys uh, just for friends uh, or for uh, his personal use? Because uh, he cannot, uh, of course, uh, afford any big alley. And um, so we just uh, start uh, being, uh, uh, like producing keys just has experiment just for uh, personal use we just tried uh, to have uh, uh, another advertisement on qst magazine cq and others magazine that for of course uh, you will know and uh, it cost a lot of money and uh, of course it didn't produce any order at the beginning so after a lot uh, uh, we got the first order as a miracle and uh, the person who ordered uh, the first key became uh, a wonderful friend. And we know again him and we uh, meet him every year. My father met him in 2005 when we decided to fly to US just for attending the first Dayton convention, but uh, not inside as uh, exhibitors but just outside in the flea market because uh, we, we were nobody. And uh, so we just flew there without uh, any boot, any reservation, just tried. Uh, of course, uh, my father spoke few English words uh, and uh, so he was there alone. Many, many people came, came to his uh, boot, of course and uh, he has just a table and a car in uh, his back and uh, we just tried uh, to show people our work just for saying them this is our work what we are able to do it and uh, what we can give to the other person who maybe uh, appreciate ours and uh, who can maybe have fun using them so uh, some friends just came there and helped us uh, giving uh, some table, giving some chair, and uh, they are a very good friend today too. So after this, uh, everything started uh, very, very slowly because uh, many reasons as you can read. First, because we were not well known around the world because uh, we were just at the beginning. And then uh, also because uh, we needed more hour of work, more hour of uh, uh, experience, more sacrifices, and uh, put inside uh, everything we do a lot of passion because this is not only a work. This is not only, not only a, a simple work uh, just for earning money. It's just for our passion. Of course, this is our work as everyone, I hope, uh, has but uh, uh, it's just because uh, we love doing what we do. This is the first key my father designed and of course produced. And the first order came from Switzerland for this. And uh, Switzerland uh, was um, committed by a company, Motorola company, which is uh, maybe a old company nowadays and uh, he just asked us for 250 pieces uh, uh, to put uh, inside a special box uh, for a limited edition of a Motorola mobile phone. So they, they did this uh, and uh, we just uh, uh, served them. Then uh, we donated this key just for celebrating uh, 125th uh, Marconi's birthday uh, in Boston with the uh, Italian uh, in the in the mo in the world I'm sorry association with uh, Mar uh, Marconi's daughter uh, Princess Elizabeth um, Electra Marconi in the October 1999 and uh, so this was the first gate uh, for for us of course this is the first yambic my father designed and uh, it's not uh, an old model because uh, it's still available. This is the simplex model. And uh, he started uh, for, of course, uh, his friends, uh, for uh, producing some for his friends. And um, this one is another type of uh, the first Begali. It was uh, not uh, a real magnetic classic, uh, like uh, more or less the design could uh, uh, look like. 
but uh, it was made by Spring just for trying to change the design of, for the simplex. And uh, then uh, we in, improved uh, with the magnets. So these are just the steps uh, who gave us the opportunity to learn more, of course, uh, about the design, about the possibility to include magnets, uh, to include uh, maybe less screws as possible, because we don't like to have to, to give uh, to the person and people many uh, things uh, to adjust the key just few poss uh, as less as possible so people uh, don't get uh, maybe wrong uh, adjusting uh, or maybe try to do something that they don't or they don't like it of course uh, uh, the galley start uh, um, how can you say uh, drawing everything by by pencil on the board and uh, before coming uh, uh, a new key, the one we sell now, we need uh, to make a lot of prototypes. So we design it uh, by, by pencil on the board. We uh, convert uh, the, um, the draw into the software, CAD uh, software for the machine. Then we start, of course, uh, machining them and uh, machining, of course, uh, with uh, uh, aluminum material because it's uh, easier than maybe stainless steel to be machined. And then uh, after uh, having assembled the first one, uh, we just can understand, uh, okay, we can change this uh, or uh, this can be kept uh, or I don't know. And so uh, we produce many before a real key is uh, available. This is, of course, uh, one of my father's draw. And uh, my father who tried with his hand uh, to try to have uh, a sort of key in his hand. So this is the conception, uh, maybe old conception for designing things because nowadays uh, everyone have uh, a 3D uh, software. But I think uh, uh, using this uh, solution, you have the right time uh, for thinking, trying to change something, uh, and you can uh, modify, but you, with your head and not just with a computer. Of course, these are, are other um, prototypes, maybe some uh, rouge prototypes, but uh, very helpful for being able to understand which is better and which is not. And here we welcome you in uh, our factory. Of course, uh, we have uh, five dogs, <laughs> so uh, they need to be included too because this is our life uh, and our uh, real, uh, real day. So this is, uh, I can show you a piece of machine and how things are uh, uh, built. Uh, we use uh, always uh, a solid bar of material can be aluminum, brass, uh, stainless steel, uh, or other materials. And we work uh, everything from the solid, uh, solid bar. So you can see the finger pieces are made by the rectangular bar you can see on the right. And uh, the, on the left side, you can see the steel key, which is uh, made in this case in uh, aluminum just for being the first prototype. This is a, a, a view of a, a part of the factory. And you can see three machines, CNC machine, that uh, they are used for producing the small part, medium part, and big parts. And uh, of course, my father is, uh, he would like to say ciao, but uh, I took a picture without uh, um, his hand. <laughs> so I'm sorry. On the bottom, you can see uh, the new machine we bought last year, a uh, big investment, uh, but uh, very well needed because uh, we had uh, um, old machines uh, that maybe were not able to work and machine uh, some parts uh, uh, like maybe stainless steel. And you can see here the new machine and the table where we put uh, all the parts. Here I, produce a small uh, video. I hope uh, you enjoy uh, to, see. to see. I'm sorry.
this is as the are the tools we need of course to uh, put in the, in the machine for uh, working this is a process uh, and we are just uh, uh, producing a sculpture arrow uh, base maybe they are not visible because we use a lot uh, of uh, water with oil this is a uh, uh, used just for um, um, not giving too much uh, uh, for cooling for cooling and uh, for not creating uh, too bad uh, uh, parts because uh, they are lubricant and uh, they make a special uh, job uh, with uh, the tools we use uh, for uh, working the stainless steel uh, which are very expensive and uh, we usually use them for uh, maybe five bases uh, and then we have to change them. Here you can see we use the mask for uh, machining uh, um, parts. These are the arms for uh, plastic and uh, signature. And this is the machine who works uh, uh, them. On the side, uh, on the left side, uh, put the solid bar and then uh, just uh, we have three different steps. Here another type of uh, work we are uh, producing from a, uh, an engineering company. Here again uh, the new machine uh, that uh, is uh, trying to um, refine uh, so for uh, just going around the base uh, for giving to the base uh, the best touch without having to polish them. Here there is the grinding machine because we prefer using grinding process instead of uh, polishing because polishing uh, giving, uh, give not uh, uh, any geometrical surface but they create uh, a curve so they would not be perfect so we prefer using this this is the reason why in our key you can see the, see the lines and this usually is used uh, for many type of work like mechanical, navy or medical because they need to have a perfect geometry. This is my laser engraving machine and you can see we are just engraving the cabinet for the CW machine. And on the aluminum, uh, the engraving, engraving uh, process is very, very quick because of course uh, need to remove uh, the anodization so everything is uh, very very uh, quick but uh, on the uh, stainless steel or a gold part uh, which are a little bit shiny uh, it need more and more time for giving like in this case uh, for uh, giving a black uh, uh, image and it takes about uh, 10 minutes for uh, having the dragon uh, engraved here again, uh, the factory. And uh, we can see again my father. And now my father is uh, uh, grinding the parts. The grinding machine has a magnetic base uh, where everything is put uh, on, on it uh, by magnets. Of course, my father smokes cigars. These are uh, finger pieces uh, for uh, the keys. Here, the key base is just machined. Here, before we give uh, the parts uh, to the supplier to be treated, here, of course, uh, they need again one step to be completed. So everything we do is uh, made uh, by, uh, um, how can I say? Uh, is made by a solid piece so if you see the brass image because this brass is not gold and you can see and maybe understand that, that is made from a wall block of brass and we just remove the parts like it would be a sculpture and okay here of course my father uh, board where uh, he design and draw all the keys. On the picture below, on the left side, uh, you can see um, the cabinet where all the original draw of each keys uh, or each part uh, are uh, uh, well kept. So don't say to any thief to come here and go to that cabinet, please. <laughs> here, uh, there is a picture of me 
Uh, in the right hand, uh, I keep uh, a blade assembled. On the left hand, uh, I keep uh, uh, the base to be still worked. It's an iron cast base. And uh, in the cabinet uh, on, the, on the floor, you can see the solid block uh, we use to be machined. On the left, you can see just the ones we use for the sculpture arrow. On the left, maybe for the sculpture swing or sculpture key. Here, just uh, uh, to show you when uh, we assemble a key, we put them on the chart, on a special chart for being engraved, checked, soldered, and cleaned, of course. And then we put them into the shelves, uh, just waiting for customers. Of course, uh, there is some time that we have many of them, and some time we maybe don't have them available, but we wait maybe for... Um, not for having order, but just for being able to produce uh, from for the minimum 20 pieces per time because uh, it doesn't worth uh, the, the job. Of course, my father is a, a very avid reader and he collects uh, about 4,000 books. I don't know. I think someone uh, was written uh, twice uh, or three times. So uh, he, he is uh, this passion too. In the middle, you can see a rare edition of Marconi Code book, and uh, there are only four copies in the world. The others, we don't know where they are. And on the left, uh, there is just uh, the, um, my, my father's book, because he wrote a book about story and history about radio. So a uh, funny experience of his uh, radio uh, life and some uh, technical uh, uh, information. Of course, uh, I'm so sorry, it's still uh, written into Italian, so maybe a day we'll be able to have it, have it translated uh, into English. This is my father uh, in a local Hampest who is trying uh, just to explain uh, to young people uh, everything about the key, the code, uh, and the radio. And uh, they seem to be very interested about uh, the picture, the other picture is a uh, uh, history of our first Dayton invention, or maybe better, my, my first Dayton invention and my father's uh, Dayton invention, because uh, for the second time we went uh, and reserved a boot into exhibitor uh, arena. And uh, unfortunately, uh, the R arena is not more available, but this was the really really uh, Dayton invention. Here there are uh, small videos just to show you a view of uh, 360 degrees uh, of few keys. I didn't put here a lot because maybe it was too long but just to show you some sometime some of you of course well know them but uh, maybe it's uh, great to see them uh, uh, in this uh, special view. Black tin is a special finish that is a titanium nitra nitrate finish, which is usually used on the army, naval and medical tools. So it's very hard and smooth like silk. Of course, if someone needs uh, a movie, I could send a link so they can just uh, record or keep it. This is uh, Intrepid. My father took about eight years for designing it and for having it available because uh, he would prefer uh, creating a new type of bug. Uh, it's easier to copy someone and someone technology, but uh, this made, uh, not because he's my father, of course, uh, but uh, this has uh, a technology and uh, completely di uh, different from the others. As you can see, of course, uh, from the arms uh, and uh, uh, for maybe some adjustment. Collapsing arms and collapsing arm for, to avoid the bounces. And then I suppose uh, this is the last one. So the HST, which is a very great key. Everyone can use it, slapping it uh, without having uh, be um, uh, 
uh, worried about damaging it and uh, we use uh, into this key uh, the technology of knitting machine so the cam which uh, is able to um, have uh, the arm position always to be a left uh, in the center one of course uh, these are uh, some of the models we have uh, available nowadays they should be around uh, 50 and uh, we always try to do our best uh, not for uh, um, how can i say not for uh, earning more or uh, just for uh, working but just because uh, uh, we would like to design something new and uh, giving uh, to each key a new uh, vision a new aesthetic look uh, and a new finish because uh, of course we are in the in the north part of italy where we have a Beretta Gans company and uh, this uh, company uh, makes a wonderful type of treatment uh, on their uh, guns or shoot guns and uh, we ask it to them uh, to help us uh, of course with ours so some of these treatments are made uh, by that company and this is of course uh, my father's radio a uh, radio antenna I'm sorry and uh, nowadays he is not more uh, um, online or uh, on the air because uh, he he spent more day on uh, working than on radio but maybe when uh, he will be retired he is already or already retired but uh, when uh, he will stop working he will spend more time of course on the radio so uh, Thank you so much for uh, looking this uh, video, for watching this video, and for uh, listening to me. Thank you. Well, uh, this was um, a wonderful presentation, uh, Bruna, and exactly um, what we would have liked to see. Thank you both, uh, Bruna and Pietro. It's a really wonderful to see uh, the background and actually photographs of the, um, of the factory. Um, Thank you. I know we're going to have a lot of questions, so um, if people could um, uh, put your questions in the chat. Um, okay. And I have um, a couple of questions myself to start off, but before uh, we get into the question period, there's somebody I want to thank here who you both know, who actually made the introduction between our club and uh, Begali. It's Jim N5HZ. Uh, Jim Mara is the president of the Jefferson Amateur Radio Club in uh, New Orleans. Uh, we actually have nine members of that club in, um, in our club, and they're wonderful people. So, uh, Jim, I know you're listening. I want to thank you very much for making the uh, introduction. Jim, you want to say a few words to uh, uh, Bruno and Pietro? Uh, yes, uh, thank you very much, Howard. Uh, I had the pleasure of meeting them uh, a year ago when I spent a, a long day with them in the factory and uh, seeing uh, pretty much what she uh, showed today, plus some new things I haven't seen. And they, they really are very perfectionistic about their product and they work as a family to produce that product. And of course, the two driving forces are uh, Piero's uh, genius and ability to be a master machinist, and as well, Bruna's ability to hang in there and, and sort of run the company as well. So uh, without any further delay, I'll turn it back to you, Howard, and uh, see what the questions sound like. Okay. Thank well you. Thanks again, Jim, and it's a pleasure to have you involved with the club. I really appreciate everything you do with us, okay? Okay, so um, I had a couple of questions, but the, the first question that I have uh, for the Begali's is from uh, Dimitri's NE1D. Um, Bruna, he's the gentleman that made the presentation about uh, uh, summits on the air before uh, this um, uh, presentation started here. So he has a young daughter um, who's 11 years old and she's, I think she's passing her general license today. Wow. 
he started learning CW with us back in March. And in one of my classes, she made in one day five CW contacts uh, to Europe after uh, taking lessons with us for, I think, uh, six weeks. Wow. So her question is, um, what, you, what the golly would you nine, recommend three, for a two, beginner? Eight, for four, a beginner. Four, nine, nine, two, eight, I, I'm four. sorry. Yeah, what, what key would you recommend for a beginner? How for her? Uh, maybe at the beginning, the simplex. Because uh, it's uh, not uh, the expensive one, of course. And uh, because uh, um, he, she can start just uh, um, trying uh, to use uh, iambic. So she just uh, could uh, uh, learn the modern way to send. Because I, I don't know, but uh, maybe also a stride key, but uh, of course for a young person, stride key maybe could be very old style. So I suppose the simplex would be better. Well, actually, Bruna, um, our club recommends learning on a straight key up to about 18 words a minute. Then we suggest uh, going to use a keyer because we feel the touch yep. of learning on a straight key is better for um, understanding. For your Okay, so if it was a straight key, what would you recommend for her? The, the spark model, I, I suggest you the uh, spark model because it's a uh, less expensive mm -hmm. one and uh, for my opinion, have a, a very crisp touch. Power off. Okay, so you said spark. Spark model. Okay, spark, just like Marconi, spark, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. My, uh, I'll just ask one more question and then I'll start to read. I think we have 14 questions right away. Okay. Um, Pietro, does your factory make sewing machine parts today or only keys? No, we make uh, some uh, spare parts of a uh, knitting machine, not sewing machines because uh, it's uh, produced in China today uh, at very low price. Uh, uh, for knitting machines, is uh, remain in Italy two big producers, but uh, the main production is made in China anyway. So we I make a spare part for consumer. Sì, però se fai solo tasti o... No, I, I, my market is about 80% of producing keys and 20% of producing spare parts on knitting machines. Okay, that's, that's what I wanted to understand. Okay, yes, we understand that the whole world is made in China now, you know? So. Yeah. Um, that's, uh, that's, it. that's the way it is. Okay. Let me go into the chat. Okay. And let me go to the top and read the first question here. Um, okay. I'm skimming down. Okay. Some is from the previous class, I guess. And look at the timestamp on the right. You'll be able to figure out when the other one started. Oh, um, that's a very good idea, Rich. Thank you. Okay. I would like to reply back to everyone, but I don't think <laughs> I'm able to do it. La domanda era? No, adesso devo guardare la chat e vedere qual è la prossima domanda. Quale tasso raccomandi per il sotto? Okay. Um, uh, Rich uh, KF5BCN is asking the difference between the sculpture and the HST. Different, it's a big difference. Do, uh, do you have a, a big difference between sculpture and the HST? HST is a single lever one 
and the sculpture is a uh, iambic uh, puzzles. Now, uh, the HST uh, working, uh, uh, making the double or more movement uh, for make one letter, for the uh, type one letter than the sculpture. But as the experience of a Russian champion in HSD in the uh, speed champions is a more speed uh, to send with a single level than the Yambic one. I am not able to make HSD competition. <laughs> How, how uh, Pietro, how good is your CW today? My CW today is a 20 watt per minute, no more. Because my hand is a, a old hand and arth arthrosic <laughs> hand. And uh, I can use uh, the intrepid on only or the bug only because I slapping instead of using the fingers. Well, I, I slap too. Um, I've always used um, the old um, Vibroplex. Yes, I use the Vibroplex anyway. I use the Vibroplex, the Maniflex, and, but all, all the style keys. Yeah, well, I know that the, the Vibroplex can accept the slapping very well, you know? <laughs> yeah, more slapping than the Intrepid, more, because they need, need more forces. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, I've tried your keys, and I have to be very gentle with them. So Sorry, sorry. I, I, have, tried, I have tried your keys, and I have to be very gentle yeah, yeah, yes, of course, of course. My, my, my eight years of uh, uh, attempts to uh, accomplish a semi-automatic one was mainly for have a light touch semi-automatic key. Uh, let me ask you one question, um, Pietro. How is your, maybe you can translate, uh, Bruna, how yeah. is your head copy on CW? How, how can you, how fast can you copy, Pietro? No, anyway, when I was a young man, I copy about 25 word per minute. Now, I have a difficulty to uh, copy 20 word per minute. I have an idea for you, Pietro. I want you to accept an honorary lifetime membership to the Long Island CW Club. And wow. then, then you come to my head copy class. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Howard. Okay, we would love to have you in the club. <laughs> Very pleasant about this. Thank I am so very pleasant. I will, I will send you an email later inviting you to join the club. Uh, Bruna, are you, are you licensed? Uh, do you have a license in Italy? Oh my God. Uh, I, um, I was uh, just uh, studying for the US license and uh, I had to have uh, the exam and uh, general passed uh, um, September, this September. But COVID uh, just didn't help me a lot, uh, and so I'm still waiting. <laughs> okay, well, you, you can join with us too. Okay, thank you so much. I would love it. Okay, uh, there's a question here from Terry, WB0JRH. When was the first Bagali iambic key produced? The simplex. Simplex. Or, yes, what? yes, the simplex model. When? What, what year? Uh, when? Uh, oh, 
1995. 1996. Okay. Very good. Next question from Jim AI4PL. I have the signature paddle and would like to get a straight key. I want a very heavy base, a heavy base. Okay. Which Bengali key would you recommend with a heavy base? Straight key. The, the heavy base is a sculpturaro. It's a, 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 about a, it's a more than two kilograms of a, a weight. Uh, which, which key was sculpture, what'd you say? Arrow. Sculpture arrow. Arrow. Arrow, arrow, got it. Okay, or, may, or maybe also the blade, which is about uh, uh, one and one kilos and nine, is uh, a little less uh, expensive, but uh, of course is a, a good uh, straight key too. Different with different technical, because uh, is uh, the blade is uh, of course uh, the blade have a blade suspension like uh, Swedish key. The sculpture uh, arrow is a, a have a ball bearing suspension. Okay, very good. Next question from uh, Flip uh, K9 uh, KT9X. Uh, she says, "I have three different Bagali keys," and she says, "Thank you," and she loves them all. Okay, she loves your key. Thank you so much. Uh, we hope you enjoy using all of them uh, when you have time. KT5, KT5X is a very good friend for my. Oh, you, you know KT9X? You know her? Yes, not personally. But we, in the last years, in the past, in the past years, we uh, exchanged many emails. Okay, and well, he... well, Flip, Flip, why don't you ask uh, the Bagalis your question, please? Oh, sorry, sorry, KT5X. Oh, KT5X. <laughs> okay, well, sorry, excuse me. Uh, Flip, Flip, why don't you ask your question to the Bagalis anyhow? Go ahead, Flip. Well, my question is, I really love my Bagali sculpture, the 60, 60th anniversary edition and I have a lot of friends who wish they would have gotten one. Is there any chance you might continue the run or are they done forever? Uh, it, will, it won't be any more available. I'm so sorry because it was made just in limited edition uh, just for celebrated 60th anniversary of work uh, of, for my father. So maybe in the future we will have another limited edition Maybe similar, has a quality and function, but not the same. But uh, we have a friend from Netherlands who is selling it on Facebook. So if you look uh, in my Facebook page, maybe you can write me an, uh, a message and I can uh, let you know uh, if he is still uh, selling it. But he is uh, selling it uh, for more than you paid. <laughs> Okay, another question from Terry, WB0JRH. Um, how is the Bagali watch, the watch production doing? How are, how are your sales of the watches? Okay, we don't produce them. Uh, they are produced by a Switzerland company who has uh, his uh, uh, factory in uh, Venice, here in Italy. And uh, we have them produced by them uh, and we just engrave them uh, with the cool sign and uh, the case uh, on, the, on the back. And we would love uh, just uh, to start selling them uh, just because uh, I, I suppose uh, it's uh, a piece more than a key. So everyone uh, wear a watch, of course, maybe someone Apple watch or other uh, digital watch, but uh, it's uh, look like uh, a stainless steel uh, is a stainless steel watch and has uh, our best uh, models are made in stainless steel so we wanted just to have uh, a similar 
type of uh, uh, item. Okay, next question. Uh, we, we don't have too many more. So, um, Rob, W1 AFP, why don't you ask your question to the Begalis? Rob, are you still there? Well, uh, Rob asked, what is your favorite key? Your favorite key? My favorite key, of course, is the Sculptor model. Uh, because uh, what, when, when I produced the, the first prototype, I was uh, surprised, sincerely surprised, for the light touch of this key. Was, uh, I designed it, I produced it, uh, this uh, prototype, but when I put my hand on this key, was, I was very big surprised. I remember he said to me, wow, this is a key. <laughs> so he was very surprised about uh, the real uh, feeling that key had. So he just told me, oh, wow. We, we need just to change uh, all our style and uh, start producing uh, all the others as the sculpture are made. Interesting. Uh, Mark, K-E-8-M-J-H, has a very nice question for you. Mark, go ahead and ask it. You know, you have such beautifully designed keys. I mean, they're aesthetic, the design is just beautiful. And I was just curious, about the design process and where you really draw your design inspiration for making such beautiful keys. Traduci per favore. Ok, vuole sapere, dice che abbiamo fatto un bel, facciamo i disegni dei tasti e come prendiamo l'ispirazione di disegnarli e tutto il processo ovviamente per farli. Is a very difficult to, very difficult to explain because it's more than one year. I have on my draft table uh, one new model of key, and I am at 10% of the work because I drafted five minutes and I have not solution tomorrow. Then, during the night or during the uh, playing uh, with the dog, I have the inspiration. inspiration. And then I draft five minutes more and uh, um, signed uh, two or three lines more, and then I have no solution to, pro to proceed. To going on. To going on. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Maybe to pass one week, one month, or 10 minutes. Uh, it's difficult to explain. Is uh, as, as Thomas Edison say, saying, uh, the invention is 90%, 10% inspiration and 90% Transpiration. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I had skipped over one question here. Um, Mitch, um, KN4ONH, you want to ask your question, Mitch? Uh, sure. Um, let's see. So I think my question was already answered. Um, it's what do you recommend? What key do you recommend? for some of some year. Yeah, uh, Bruno, what, what key do you recommend for portable operation uh, going on top of a mountain and, and that type of work? Okay, I suppose uh, it could be two choice. 
Uh, the first one is uh, uh, the traveler key because it's very light and very portable. You can use uh, uh, just attach it to your leg or just to a piece of wood if you find somewhere and you don't have anything for uh, keeping it uh, on, uh, on the desk. But also if you have uh, um, a place where uh, everything can sit uh, or a radio with a special bracket uh, maybe has been designed, you can go for the adventure. Of course, uh, adventure is, uh, 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 is uh, waiting uh, about... Uh, um, 160 grams. Yeah, so it's very light. And the traveler instead yeah. is uh, weighted uh, 900 six, six, 600 grams. Uh, just the uh, inspiration, just uh, uh, I talked about a uh, few, few minutes ago, uh, was ab about the new portable, portable key, new concept, but I don't know if uh, he can wait uh, he can be realized one day so i suppose maybe the adventure one is better because it's smaller um, is uh, not heavy and so it's lighter than the others and uh, also because uh, it can be attached to some radio or be used uh, like a, a magnetic base. But if someone doesn't want uh, uh, to uh, maybe have some bracket uh, around or some other part to be attached, I suppose a traveler like key would be the best. Yeah, um, and I think that answered um, Toby from Germany, DL3TM's question also. Um, Dave, KI7DPP, you have some very nice comments for the Bagalis. Would you like to tell them yourself? Well, uh, I just want to thank them for a beautiful presentation and uh, somebody mentioned that they were beautiful keys and I just uh, want to tell you beautiful designs by beautiful people. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much for your comment. You like you like as all the uh, German or Switzerland scientists. <laughs> my my family's heritage is in uh, Germany, but uh, I'm near Seattle now. Oh, wow. Like like uh, one of colleagues of uh, uh, Albert Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, this is uh, embarrassing. I am still learning uh, Morse code, but I have three of your keys. They're beautiful. <laughs> this is a, this is the way for learning more and more every day. Well, I'll I'll tell you, um, uh, Bruna and and Pietro. I've been doing CW for fifty four years now. Wow. Every day I hear somebody mention the word Bagali every single day every single day and we, we cannot be only then uh, very pleased because uh, this uh, make us very satisfied uh, about our work and uh, because i think i suppose every person who uh, do something uh, can just appreciate uh, when people are satisfied well also so, Many people talk about having met you at Dayton. I met you both years ago. Of course, you wouldn't remember, but everybody talks about how pleasant you are. Oh, thank you. This, this is exactly what we are. Cosa ho detto? Che tutti chiunque ci ha incontrato a Dayton ha detto che è stato un piacere incontrarci per parlare con noi. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I am a modest person, but uh, I have, a, a, I think, a open heart. Well, it, 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 uh, it shows, it, we can see that, we can see that. Yeah, because we, after all, we are a normal person as everyone. We are here just for working, living, and uh, making uh, all the day uh, very interesting and trying to be satisfied on everything we do. Okay, uh, Bill, 
uh, AG5SK, would you like to ask your question? Bill, are you still there? Um, his question, Bruno, was what is the difference between, oh, oh there you go, Bill. Yeah, my question was, what was the difference between the, the um, sprint and the other key that you said was intrepid. a slapping key, the intrepid, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the oh. difference between the sprint and the intrepid, Pietro. Uh, okay. About the intrepid and the other is sprint. Sprint. I think maybe he means the HST key. I, there, I don't think there's a sprint key. I think he meant the HST and the intrepid. Yeah, I suppose because uh, the slapping keys uh, are the HST, uh, maybe the sculpture mono, or maybe also the sculpture swing. They are the slapping key. Okay. Yeah, because uh, you just don't have uh, to be worried about damaging the arm just because you can just slap it without any problem. And the arm will be always uh, in the center position after each of your, um, of your uh, slap. Um, moving on, Bruna, um, a few members have said, if you want to take your general test online okay we can refer you where you can do this it's you can do it online now oh wow really yeah um after this um i will get some uh recommendations for you where to go okay okay thank you so much i i'm a, a little bit moved <laughs> okay all right laura please ask your question laura ko4 dfj Well, um, I think uh, Flip kind of answered it. Um, I received my adventure yesterday, and it's like the Lamborghini. You know, I start, I, I'm a beginner, so it's like less than a couple months, and then I press those keys, and it comes out faster than I can think. But anyways, I love it very much. And um, since this is a beautiful piece of art that I got here, I was just wondering if you guys made like little, like plastic, clear acrylic display cases, so when it's not in use, I can just uh, admire it. Yeah, Bruno, the question is, do you make a clear plastic case oh. for your keys? We can suggest uh, two friends uh, who are just producing them because we produce it mechanical parts uh, and not plastic, but we can uh, give uh, the name of two friends. One is from US and uh, this is uh, www. Uh, dot, uh, gift for hams, uh, dot com and you can see uh, plexiglass dust cover or maybe our friends from UK is a pit sobia uh, g0 pnm and uh, they are designing a different type of plexiglass dust cover both uh, are wonderful but of course I, I don't know how much they cost <laughs> so you have to uh, take care about uh, your pocket and about of course uh, the international shipping or local shipping but they do a wonderful work um bob osr has a very nice comment to tell you bob would you like to say that go ahead Bob, W2OSR. Are you still there? Hmm. Um, he was here, but I would, like, I would have liked him to, I'll read his comment. He says, Pietro is the Michelangelo of key design. Michelangelo, maybe. No, no. He's a, the comparison is not correct. Well, I, this, this, this is written, written in the chat. So, <laughs> so I'm sorry, Pietro, this is correct. It's written in the chat. Yes, but I, I am, I don't, I don't agree. This is not right. 
All right. Well, we can we can fight about that later on. Okay. Uh, let's go through the questions here. Thank you. Thank you for his opinion. Okay. I, I appreciate the, his opinion, of course, because uh, uh, as uh, all uh, uh, human person, I am a little narcissist, but modest person. <laughs> okay. You know, there are many compliments in the chat about how people love your keys. They're mentioning the different models, the blade, um, you know, the, um, the, so I'm skipping over that for time, but many people are writing how they love specific models. Um, but one question here, Greer, Greer, uh, if you're still there, would you like to ask your question? K5VQN? Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Harry. Hey. My, my question for Piero and, and Bruna is how many employees does your factory have? How many people work there? Okay, first of all, uh, my father, <laughs> oh. then, then uh, me, and uh, we have an employer for 20 years now. That 26 is like 26 years. So he has been working for us for 26 years and he is like my brother. And uh, another person who works uh, half uh, half day, so part time, and uh, your daughter, your uh, sister. So we are one, two, three, four, five. Well, well, that's that's uh, very so nice. three and two half. <laughs> that, that's amazing. You can do all that with five people. Well, yeah, a, we are working hard and many hours per day. Yes, yeah, but. Yeah. I bet you are. We, we, work, we work as a six or seven units. Yeah. And, 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 and by the way, Bruno, thank you for your fast delivery of my key that I just got a few weeks ago. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm so pleased that you got it in the right shape and you enjoy using it and you love it, of course. Yeah. It was a pleasure to serve you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy your day. We're, we're at the top of the hour now. Um, is there any last questions for the Begali's before we um, uh, close down the presentation? Last call, anybody out there? I'll just put one in the chat. There's another one in the chat. Mm -hmm. uh, they asked, uh, how many keys do you make a day? Quanti tasti facciamo al giorno? Al giorno è possibile. Oh, is it difficult? Uh, 2,000 per year, mainly. Per, per day, divide, divide <laughs> the number of day for the, two, uh, the number of uh, uh, keys for 365 days because the uh, 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 Holiday days for us is very, very few. Okay. So we maybe, maybe we have never counted how many keys we do per day because a day maybe we can have a hundred and the day after nothing because maybe a machine is broken or we have another type of appointment or we have to clean the factory for flood because we got two floods last week. So sometimes uh, uh, just the fact happen, uh, and uh, so we do what we do. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Grazie. Thank um, you. Bruno, my last question would be, um, how far is your house from the factory? <laughs> One kilometer and a half. <laughs> One kilometer and a half, okay. So you could, you could ride your bicycle there, right? Oh my God, it's better by car because uh, by bicycle I have a German Shepherd and uh, she is not able to, uh, walk very, to walk very slowly. So it could be a little bit dangerous uh, with the dog uh, just bicycling. So I prefer just uh, having her in my back car and uh, just driving here. 
but uh, of course I can uh, work till uh, maybe midnight during the week and so I can uh, just come back home uh, in a few minutes. All right. Okay, well, I think that about wraps up our presentation. So I think everybody should unmute and give a very um, big a round of applause. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Congratulations. Thank you so much. Bellissimo. Thank you. This was wonderful. Uh, thank you very much again. Grazie. Uh, thank you. For doing this. Grazie. It, it was really terrific. Grazie mille for, uh, for your help, for uh, being here, for uh, watching the movie and video, for uh, listening to us, and I hope everyone understands uh, what we said. No, Absolutely. It, it was, it was no problems understanding you at all. Perfect. No. Great presentation. Perfect. Great, great show, both of you. Excellent both presentation. Our very Thank best you so much. There you go. Right there. Okay, Rich, you can end the recording. Okay. All right.